This morning it is another day of storm cleanup from central to eastern Iowa. This morning we have team coverage of the aftermath beginning in Grinnell where trees were uprooted and homes were damaged. CBS 2's Chris Jose shows us one house hit especially hard. The storm damage right here in Grinnell is extensive. Take a look at this tree. It toppled right on top of this house. You can see that garage back there is completely demolished. To give you some perspective on how big this tree is, take a look at this. I mean, this thing is about 80 feet in height, goes all the way over there. You can see how high it goes. It goes on top of the house. Uh, Justin Routier is actually a neighbor here. And Justin, you were here when this storm hit. What do you know? What can you tell me about this storm? Uh, when it rolled through Grinnell? Well, it uh, did come in pretty quick. Uh, started out just kind of hazy dark out, and then all of a sudden the uh, winds and the hail just started. It literally looked like a blizzard going on outside, but uh, it sounded like a bunch of bullets hitting the house. I mean, we were worried about windows and all that stuff. Um, it caused quite a bit of damage around through here. What does the rest of the town look like? Oh, uh, places have uh, several uh, squares of shingles messing off their roof, um, a lot of trees down, there are windows and stuff that I have been broken and stuff, so. All right, thanks a lot, Justin Routier. I uh, appreciate your time tonight. And Nick, if you can just walk back a little bit here, just to give you a little bit more perspective on how big this tree is. This is the trunk of the tree. I mean, you can just see how wide it is, snapped in half. You can see there's still hail down here. It's about uh, pea-sized hail at this point, but the damage here in Grinnell is extensive. Uh, the Powell Street County Sheriff's Office says the good news is there's no injuries to report tonight. So folks in Grinnell certainly lucky uh, bypassing this storm. Pointing in Grinnell, Chris Jose, CBS 2 News. That house that Chris showed us is a rental and no one's looking.